viewers. Again, this is the Church of a Nazarene program, Family Forum. We are with you every Sunday evening around 5 o'clock on the car by CBC. And we appreciate the partnership we have with CBC in airing this program every Sunday. And uh, we appreciate your feedback. And uh, as was said before the program, zero in on the family and the, the motivation. Again, as I was said, as I said before, is to help to enrich the family life of our nation. Because we believe that some of the ills that we experience in the society are rooted in the family. So if we can have stronger families, we are sure that we can have stronger societies. And uh, today, we want to continue um, what we started in the last program, um, I should say conclude, um, as we focus on stress management. And uh, we believe that this topic is appropriate, especially at this time, when we in Barbados indeed and beyond are experiencing tremendous stress emanating from the pandemic that we are experiencing. And of course, um, not only the pandemic, but there are other issues that exert stress on our family. So today, I'm glad to have with me again, Reverend Kelman. Very pleasant. Good afternoon to you. I trust you are keeping safe. All right. And then uh, we will... I'll be back with you in a minute. But just before we, I do that, though, I just want to read a passage from the book of Nehemiah. Um, we're not reading this passage just because we can. But we believe that the word of God provides um, foundation for many answers that we can tap into as we focus on areas of critical importance in the family. I wanted to the passage I'm sharing with you is taken from Nehemiah chapter 1. Um, this story is not unfamiliar. Uh, we talk about the walls of Jerusalem being burnt and the gates, the walls, sorry, being broken down and the gates being burnt. And Jerusalem was in a bad state. And uh, Nehemiah, God chose Nehemiah to do something about it. And uh, we are saying that the situations that we are in, yes, at the moment, seem very, very difficult and gloomy. And so what do we do? Sometimes we throw our hands in the air. But let us see what Nehemiah did when they found themselves in a very dire situation. So I want to read from Nehemiah chapter 1. Those who survived the exile, verse 3, and are back in the province are in great trouble and disgrace. Mm. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and the gate, its gates have been burnt with fire. The Bible says, when Nehemiah said, when I heard these things, I sat down and wept. For some days I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And then I said, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and obey the commands, his commands, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open, open to hear the prayer of your servant who is praying before you day and night for your people of Israel. And you know, as I read this, I thought, that's how we feel. We feel as if the walls are security, in many ways our safety um, has been breached. And we don't know what to do. The walls are broken down and the gates are burning with fire. And Nehemiah's approach was, you know, sometimes we think that prayer is the last thing. 
But here is it, Nehemiah. The first thing he did when he realized we were in crisis, a serious, stressful situation, there was in distress, the first thing was to pray. The next thing, next thing he did was to plan. So he prayed, he planned, and then he proceeded to take appropriate action. And then he partnered, he realized he could not do it alone, he partnered with others. Realizing that opposition would come, he persevered. And I think that that's what we have to bear in mind. We pray, we plan, we proceed to take appropriate action. We realize we can't do it alone, so we need partnership. And of course, we have to understand, expect opposition and difficulties as we have right now in our environment. And rather than blaming, these, these, these um, difficulties will come. Let's persevere. And eventually, he completed the job. So I want to be positive and saying in Barbados that we will beat this pandemic. We will beat it. I think let's use some of the energy that we have rather than blaming and pointing fingers. Let's use some of this energy to pray, take meaningful action, persevere, and we believe that we can beat it. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for the possibility of even to share with our public today, our viewers, reminding them in the midst of the stressful situation, just as Nehemiah understood what he had to do, he started with pray. We know that we can't only pray, but then having prayed, God will give us the solutions. God will give us the resources that we will be able, in Barbados and beyond, to fight this stressful situation, this COVID-19 pandemic. Give us the will. We are a people that are resilient. Give us the will. Help us not to be so negative, but work together that we can rebuild the wall, so to speak, of safety and health. We give you thanks, Lord, for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Listeners, we'll be back with you in a moment. Invite a friend, family member. The topic is management of stress. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, we're back with you, and uh, thank you, Robert Farley, for that very um, interesting, you know, um, direction in terms of that text, and and of course, I think you raised one of one of one of the uh, fundamental issues in terms of, of stress management, yes. uh, that of our own spirituality, you know, and yes. bring that to bear mm -hmm. on how we how we manage, how we get through yes. uh, this difficult time. We know that that you know, in, in maybe uh, 20, 30 years ago, uh, there seemed to have been a conflict uh, between psychology and spirituality, but now. Yes. We're clearly seeing that um, um, there's a lot more of, of, of an embrace mm -hmm. uh, because they, they've now accepted the, 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 the reality that our spiritual selves and our ability to, to, to connect with God and, and to have that relationship is a, is a significant factor yes. in us being able to get through uh, the challenges and the changes uh, which will confront us in our lives. So, that, so, so we, we're not going to minimize yes. Yes. Um, that at all you exactly. know, in terms of... Well, as, sometimes we leave it as the last option. Yeah, yeah. We, we should make it number one. Yes. All right. I just want to make a uh, um, give you a quote from mm -hmm. um, Leela Saltzman and and others. Mm -hmm. um, they they wrote an article entitled uh, "Loneliness, Isolation, and Social Support Factors in Post COVID nineteen Mental Health." And hear what mm -hmm. hear what what they what they said. Social support plays a key role in well-being, right. yet one of the major preventative efforts for reducing the spread of COVID-19 involve social distancing <laughs> or physical distancing. Yes. And, uh, and so... Uh, a contradiction, right? Yeah, we'll use that as our, <laughs> as our point of, of, of you know, uh, discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, the, whole, the whole idea of, of isolation mm -hmm. um, and with the, uh, the current protocols, I mean, which has been in effect, um, you know, uh, in terms of, of that, that total shutdown whereby we are 
to use the, the legal language to say it is a curtilage yes. of, our, of, our, <laughs> of our homes, yeah. right? And, uh, and hence that element of, of physical distance and isolation becomes a reality. And one of the things we have seen is that persons uh, are not necessarily managing that very well. And uh, I would want us, even as we uh, engage today, to talk about ways how we can kind of manage the isolation and yet emerge you know, even stronger, mm -hmm. stronger for it. Any, any thoughts or what you want to share? Yeah, well, you know, I was thinking, we were talking about social distancing. And as, a, as the writer emphasized the need for social support. So it means that we have to find a way to be able, even through language, I can give you a verbal hug. I can give you a verbal hug. We need to find a way where, or maybe a virtual one. So maybe I think we, since we can't physically touch, we can use, use our ingenuity and we can use language <laughs> to bridge that gap. I, I think one, one, one of the elements though, um, and I keep using the word all the time because mm -hmm. I think sometimes that, that becomes for us the, the, major, the major hurdle. Mm -hmm. and, and that word is, is intentional, yes. right? Right. Um, because what, what happened naturally in the past, mm -hmm. right? You know, we get in our cars, we go to work, we shout our, our friend by the, by the entrance, we walk up the stairs, or we go to the lunch room and we have a cup of coffee and we talk, we laugh, we make some fun. You know, that became, that's was, that was a natural thing. Yeah. Uh, but now it is no longer uh, the, our reality, and yeah. therefore you have to be intentional. So, mm -hmm. so making time to connect socially yeah. uh, has to become a new way of life, you know, um, you know, uh, spending 10 minutes to call someone, having a, a chit chat, just to kind of ease the tension, yes, yes. you know, becomes a, 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 a real, a real, a useful, a useful part of being able to, um, to yeah. manage our, our stress levels. A friend, you know, a neighbor. Yes, you know, yeah, even, even it having... It have a long call. Yes, yeah. yes. Even yeah. to our families, you know, because, yeah. because one of the things we mentioned in our, in our, in our program before um, has to do with the whole idea of the potential for conflict occurring mm -hmm. in our families more yeah. uh, because we are in the same space. Uh, even the ability to talk through those issues, mm -hmm. you know, um, to, to talk with our, with our spouse, with our children, you know, to, to quickly resolve, you know, you know, challenges in that particular regard. Yeah. Um, Any flare up? Because you can't, you can't run, you can't go anywhere. You where, know, where do you go? Uh, you, can't, you can't leave home, yeah. right? So, mm -hmm. so, so a commitment, you know, um, to, mm -hmm. Resolving issues, you know, we, 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 we sit together mm -hmm. and we say, okay, you know, um, this is a, it's a stressful time. Uh, we don't want to increase our stress by having unresolved conflict, you know, between us or amongst us as a family. Uh, so let's commit from now on that yeah. if anything emerges, mm -hmm. we're going to discuss it, we're going to deal with it, mm -hmm. you know, at the very earliest so we can have, you know, that level of, of, re of, of release. Well, that, that says to me, though, that we have to it gives us an opportunity to work on our interpersonal skills. Mm -hmm. Interpersonal skills. Yes. Uh, we are forced to. We are forced to. We are forced to work on our interpersonal skills. But I want to ask the question, is it possible, although we are within we are confi confinement of our home, I mean, they, they, we're there, we, we're not going anywhere. Is it possible to still feel lonely and isolated? Uh, of course. And if so? How can we deal with that? Of course, I mean, I mean, we are also busy. Um, we, we, yeah, and and because of, uh, even though we're in the same space, where we are, our force is different. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, dad is working from his laptop. Mom is 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 probably doing the same thing as well. The children are on their devices. Mm -hmm. You know, and and so we can be in the crowd and still be lonely. Yeah. Uh, I, I think though, uh, about far the what is critical here is to establish times for engagement. That's it. Right, That's and it. Um, and. Uh, and, and, and that has to be that has to be and a conscious things. decision, right? So scheduling is yes. important. Yes, even yeah. even even things like like just simply, you know, having a having a or, or, or devotional time together. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, uh, becomes a, a very a very you know uh, important aspect yeah, yeah. of being able to, to, to connect with, with each other. So mm -hmm. so I, I would say I would say mm -hmm. uh, yeah, scheduling you know yeah. um, those times to connect. Uh, I mean. We, we even talked some of them ago about even a little family discussion. Yes. You yes. know, um, you know. But you know, I was thinking when we talk about time for engagement, in addition to the family discussion, and possibly sometimes 
um, you talk to discuss issues. I, I, I think that part, in term, part of it has to be also time for recreation. Recreation. So we can play a game of dominoes. That's right. We can learn some new game. Right. I, I, I believe, uh, I had made a suggestion to our pastors some time ago, that we can have a family concert. Mm -hmm. So you plan, you prepare for it. Yes. Prepare for it. Mommy singing or daddy singing. Somebody can dance. Somebody can write a little poem and somebody can rap. I, I, I don't think I'll sing though. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I don't not say me an impromptu concert. But yes. you can prepare for it. Yes. Like you can say on Friday night we're gonna have a family concert. Yes. That kind of thing. Yes. So you, you and I, I also made a suggestion some time ago that we can have a family create a collage, maybe a big on the wall in your house somewhere. Uh, get a big puzzle where you can work together somewhere. Right. And a collage means, well, a collage is some pictures, some newspapers, some magazines. Um, you can draw some of them. Yes. And you create, get some card or whatever, and everybody at some time. You don't mm -hmm. have to do it all once. Mm -hmm. Create a big collage. Mm -hmm. It can probably give it a theme. So the, children, the small kids are involved, the older ones are involved. But we have to get creative. Yes, and, and, and that's important. It's not you get driven crazy. Even in terms of, of you know, you know, recreation, but, yeah. but exercise. There you go. You know, we don't yeah. need to have a whole field to exercise. We that's can, true. That's we, true. Can, we can walk up and down uh, around our houses. Yeah. You know, down the um, corridor. Yeah, we can, we can <laughs> do some stretches. Yeah. Um, we can use our steps, yeah. you know, as a, as a way to just, you know, yeah. um, you know do, some, do some running, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we can have a piece of rope and, and skipping. Skipping yeah. is, a, is, a, is, a, is an awesome exercise. Yes, yes. You know, you don't need that much space to skip, yeah. uh, but it gives you a total body workout, you know. Yeah. Um, so, 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 so and, 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 and exercise, I'm is mm -hmm. a very effective mechanism for managing stress. Yeah. Because yeah. what it actually does is that it, it mops up all of those um, sugars out of the, the bloodstream that stress produces. Mm -hmm. and, and in time, it also reduces mm -hmm. uh, things like blood pressure. So that, that it's, a, it's, a, it's a total mm -hmm. uh, way of being able to, yeah. to deal with the effects so of stress. So you can't go on the road, you can... You can't go on the road, you don't, you don't have to. In, in the corridor, in the gallery, or you don't have in to. the house. Yes, I yeah. mean, uh, like, like I said, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you can, you can use your steps as a way to kind of just, yeah. you know, um, to, mm -hmm. to run, you know what I mean? But that really says the importance of scheduling, though. Yes. Because I cannot be, daddy can't be doing his work, or the children doing on, on, on their work. Um, in the class, mm -hmm. and, and and the noise is somebody else is making noise. So if he's scheduled, we know when we can do what. Right. Without conflict. So without conflict. <laughs> yeah. But but I think scheduling also play, plays another role as well too because uh, what well, is it organizes our day as well. Right. Yes. Right. right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, and one of the things about uh, about change and, and the whole issue of the COVID pandemic mm -hmm. is that it's created a measure of disorganization. Yes. Because what is right. normative, what is mm -hmm. predictive, right. you know, is not is no longer occurring. Mm -hmm. We don't get up at, at six thirty and shower, and be out the door at seven thirty mm -hmm. um, to our office, uh, come back home at uh, four thirty-five. Yeah. You know that that schedule has basically been has gone out the window yeah. in a sense. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and therefore having a a, a different schedule, yeah. which offers a, a kind of of you know, gives you expectation of what will come next, and mm -hmm. and it orders. Yeah. Um, your day is, is yeah. useful also in bring some kind of stability. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, right. So, 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 so scheduling plays a, 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 a very important role. Um, the other thing which I want to mention, though, has to do with uh, the, what I call the mindfulness um, strat strategies, um, things like, 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 like meditation, you know, um, you know, meditation on God's word. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh, because very, very important. Because, because don't forget that a lot of our thoughts are focused on our future mm -hmm. and our past. Yeah. And uh, those mm -hmm. thoughts can be thoughts of depression, that create depression, mm -hmm. or anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes we, we, don't, we don't live in the here and now, yeah. right? Uh, and, so, and so that mindfulness, that sense of, of, of focusing on self in the here and the now, mm -hmm. Um, through through meditation, you know, uh, maybe taking a walk outside into the of our, our gardens or around our house and mm -hmm. as enjoying nature, right? Those tend to help us to be able to breathe and, mm -hmm. and to feel that like element of relaxation. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you saying that. We talked talk earlier on about interpersonal 
relationship. I hear you, I hear you saying, now we need, we talk together also about activities where we share together, um, where we engage in recreation or engage in family discussion. But based on what you're seeing on the mindfulness, it's, it's quite, I hear you saying that we need intro. Yes, right, yes, yes. So there's time, there should be time. Yes. Made also where we have some personal time. That's right. Some personal space. Yes. So uh, that is critical. Very, very important. So very, on. very important. And, mm -hmm. and let me come back for one break, and I think we can talk about that a bit more. Okay, fine. Uh, because 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 that that is a crucial part mm -hmm. in terms of managing yeah. um, through the pandemic, especially uh, during the time of isolation. Isolation. Yes. yes. Okay, folks. We're back with you in a moment. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum. Shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, we're back again and uh, uh, we're talking about mindfulness, yeah. you know, uh, the mm -hmm. ability uh, to live in the present mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, having the sense whereby. We can we can relax. We can we can feel comfortable um, in our own selves. We can you know forget about those uh, well, forget about those thoughts that will cause things like you know fear and, and anxiety. Just kind of just live right there in terms of of, 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 of ourselves. And we mentioned the idea of of maybe relaxation, relaxation techniques. You know we can you know just breathe breathe deeply as a way of of, of what we call oxygenating, um, which brings a, a sense of calm. You know, um, I'm meditating on God's word, praying, um, reading scripture, um, focusing on, 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 on good thoughts, right? So, so, so that, that mindfulness or what you call that, that intrapersonal uh, engagement mm -hmm. is, is critical at this time as well. What about, uh, what about journaling? Journaling, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're, you're onto yeah. good stuff there, and, yeah. and that's what I've been recommending yeah. uh, because, because journaling is, a, is an excellent way to, to get your thoughts out and to create an element of catharsis because mm -hmm. uh, you're writing stuff down and the act of writing gives you a chance to express yes. and, and that in itself is, is express healing. Express those inner, inner thinking. Yes. Inner thoughts. Yes. Because sometimes after you've journaled and you look and see what you've written, it's as if it's a catharsis. Yes. You, 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 not even aware you have so much down inside there. But, but what I also do mm -hmm. is that for the, for the Christian, I attach journaling with prayer. Yes. Right? Um, yes. And... Uh, and what, what happens then is that after you've journaled, after you've read your inner thoughts, mm -hmm. then you commit those thoughts. Yeah, um, you can even you know, write, the, write, the prayer, write the prayer. Right? The prayer. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. because, because we've got to understand that our, our thought life um, eventually will, will affect how we, how, we, how we behave, you know, how we, how we feel. But you say, as a man thinks, so he sees. That's right. And that's still true. Yes, yeah. right. That's right, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and Rene Descartes, philosopher, talks about that as well, too. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that, that what we think, you know, evidence is what we do, mm -hmm. how we feel. And, and so if we can, if we can uh, get in control of our thought life, then um, that's halfway to, um, to victory in terms yeah. of managing and, uh, and that the point, pandemic. Right, if what we think is what we are, then we have to guard our gate and our Air gate, air gate, so to speak. Uh, and, and Especially when it comes to the, the uh, proliferation of, of information. Information. Yes. As it stands now. Yes. And, and I, I keep from seeing day, the persons from night to morning to night. You're watching. Yeah. That that kind of news. And that can traumatize you even further. There you go. Right. And I keep. I mean, <laughs> and I, I'm glad you raised that point, the Reverend Farley, because you know I've been on the vanguard. Especially um, isolation. See, see the persons <laughs> that you've got to watch that diet of of the different. You know, um, media and, and, and yeah. news networks across the yeah. world, yeah. right? Of course, we, we need to be informed. We're not seeing enough. And, and, and we, but and how much and we need to We need to know what's happening yeah. in our neck of the woods, yeah. right? But to spend um, huge swaths of time yeah. um, just imbibing that stuff, you know, for people who have died or, yeah. or, or these persons have been left in the hospital, we don't even want to take care of them. Mm -hmm. We know that's a reality. Yeah. And we don't have to listen to it every day because every day, because what it does from morning to night. Right, what it does yeah. to us though mm -hmm. is that it creates that element of hopelessness at times, yeah. and sometimes it can create a measure 
like I said, of trauma. So, so you want to really be very selective. The ESTP is still yeah. surfacing. Right, well, very selective, yeah. <laughs> right, in terms of how much you let through. Yeah. Uh, very, 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 very strong point. Mm -hmm. Now, I was also thinking, uh, Farley, and, and I know a number of persons who I engage with um, <coughs> have told me that they have found gardening yeah. to be a very relaxing yeah. You know, um, activity and just mm -hmm. uh, just to go there and watch things that you plant and grow. Yeah. You know, whether, um, whether it's flower garden, flower or, garden, or, or yes, you know, planting vegetables. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good. Yes, it's, it's a good hobby. Yes, yes, gardening or any other hobby that yes. you right. you, you you like. But the other thing, though, for that I find to be to be also very useful is to create some sort of project for the family at this time. Yeah, you know, um, correct. Maybe there's a there's a there's a, there's a, a room or. Uh, there's some place in the backyard that uh, has been a little bit you know, messy for a while, and right. uh, also a piece of machinery that you can probably you can clean it off, clean it off, and you mm -hmm. know, and, and that kind of stuff. Create some some project. Or maybe the study is messy, books tossed here and there. Why not let's fix the study? Towards every, every evening, you're gonna, yeah. you're gonna work on the study, or you know, or let's repaint this room. No, and a, and a color that would lift our spirits. Though. That's right. Yes. Yes. Yes, and, and, that, and that, those are the kind of projects yeah. that you want to, uh, to kind of you know initiate at home. Maybe uh, you never had the time before. That's right. You have your time now. That's right. Yeah. That's so right. That's, that's the time wisely. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so so maybe there's some trees in the yard. You can probably cut down the trees. You can probably pull away from you. You know, pull away for you. Right. So so something though that has value, mm -hmm. uh, to you as a family. Um, that can create a level of achievement, yeah. um, so that the time that you have, that you spend, is not necessarily just 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 wasted, but you're using it in a constructive manner. I think I think um, what is critical, even as we come on towards the end of this uh, presentation, is that this um, pandemic has brought us to a point where we are forced to reassess our values in terms of what is important in life. And perhaps, maybe, that may very well be a discussion that comes up in the family. So you know what? We may have to start doing things differently. It has shown us some things that we thought we couldn't do without. Perhaps we can do without. Yes. So I think the whole idea of reordering our lives. So that could be a good thing that has come out of the pandemic. I, I think Resetting. It's, yeah, I think it's, it's Celebrating. A, yes. It is, it is an excellent thing, as a matter of fact. As a matter, uh, uh, as, uh, one of the things that I do oftentimes when I engage persons is I ask the question, what, what has this experience taught you about yourself or about life in general? Yeah. Because one of the ways we, 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 we manage um, the, the levels of traumatization mm -hmm. is to use the event as a teaching tool. Yes. Because once we can do that, then it helps in the integrating process yes. uh, within our, our realm of experiences. Yes. So, so, so what, what can they learn? Mm -hmm. um, and and what, what issues or what, how, how have they even grown yes. in this situation? Mm -hmm. And that can be very, very useful mm -hmm. in terms of our, our, our long term emotional. Well, the truth health. is, it means although it might appear to be a negative event, we end up turning it into a positive. That's right. And, and I mean, and there's some things that this pandemic has taught us, though. Yeah. Uh, for example, the, the, the value of, of, of the individual, yeah. you, know, um, you know, how one person can impact another person yeah. in ways that sometimes we don't even uh, realize. So, so there's, there's a lot of, of, of learning um, lessons, lessons yes. you know, in this whole, this whole yeah. journey. So listeners, we are saying to you, look deep within, what lessons can you learn? And in closing, just remind you of this important verse in Philippians 4.6. In and trade all, whatever is noble, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent and praiseworthy, think on such things. Because we realize as we think, so we are. Father, we thank you for this occasion where we can focus on stress management. We pray that you will guide us. In these difficult times, these stressful times, may we listen to the inner man, the spirit, the Holy Spirit as he guides us to be able to make wise decisions that we can have stronger families, we can have a stronger country, 
a bigger nation, a stronger nation. We give you thanks, Lord, for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen.